All right, now that's a big day today as far as Gaganyaan is concerned and we have details of uh, that crucial mission, of course, that's going to uh, kickstart at 8 a.m. this morning. This is after the historic success of Chandrayaan, the third mission. is of course, is set to add another feather in its cap with the space agency conducting the first test flight, remember, of Gaganyaan. That's going to be done at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. That's going to be at 8 a.m., the test flight is going to involve a specially designed single-stage rocket. It's going to launch the crew escape system and the crew module simultaneously. ISRO says the space agency is conducting the test of flight demonstration and evaluation of test vehicle subsystems. Gaganyaan project is going to demonstrate human spaceflight capabilities, doing so by taking a three-member crew to an orbit of 400 kilometers on a mission that's going to last three days and then bring the crew back safely with the landing set to take place in the Indian sea waters. Shilpa Nair is joining us from Sri Harikota this morning. Shilpa, very good morning to you. First of all, give us a sense of the mood there as far as, uh, you know, Istro is concerned, given that this is uh, an extremely important mission today, of course, is the test mission. What are the expectations and what to expect really in the next few hours or so? Uh, well, Sneha, uh, very good morning. Uh, uh, this, of course, is going to be a very important day as mm. far as uh, the Gaganyaan mission uh, is concerned because this is going to be the test flight. Uh, uh, it, uh, the ISRO it will be launching the TV, uh, TV uh, D1 uh, uh, mission today, which is, of course, a test vehicle that they're trying to uh, test out. Uh, this test vehicle will have a crew module and the crew uh, escape system mounted on it. And they are, of course, trying to assess the uh, performance of the crew module and the crew escape system because uh, uh, this is a extremely important. Gaganyan, of course, is going to be a manned mission to the space where we will be sending astronauts to uh, space. A 400 kilometer orbit is what is being planned at this point in time. Uh, so for three days, astronauts will be, uh, you know, situated uh, at a 400 kilometer orbit. And if at all, there is a reason why the mission has to be aborted due to some kind of technical failure or technical snag, uh, that is the they are now testing out the safety precautions, the safety measures uh, that they've put in uh, uh, put in place, the crew module uh, and the crew escape system. Now, this is a, a test vehicle, a specially designed uh, test vehicle, a liquid-propelled uh, stage one rocket that will be launched from Sri Harikota at around 8 a.m. this morning. Uh, and what exactly will happen is once uh, the rocket takes off uh, from Sri Harikota at, at an altitude of around 17 kilometers and about six signal will be sent. Uh, and once the abort signal is sent, the crew module and the crew escape system will detach uh, from the rocket and it will fall. It will splash onto the Bay of Bengal, uh, where the Indian Navy has stationed their uh, ships and the Indian Navy personnel will then go and retrieve the crew module. So what they're essentially trying to see here is how the systems and the subsystems perform uh, once there is an abort signal that is given uh, this, of course, is extremely important when it comes to the safety of uh, these astronauts who will be going uh, to space as part of the Gaganyaan mission. If at all, uh, you know, during the mission, uh, there is some kind of technical failure or some kind of issue that they face, then it, uh, the mission has to be about it in flight. And that is the reason why they're try trying to test out these uh, systems at this point in time uh, to make sure that nothing goes wrong. And this is one among the many tests that ISRO will conduct over the coming days until until everything is sorted out, until the margin of error uh, comes to almost nil, uh, IRS, ISR is going to perfect this uh, so that, uh, you know, there is no problem whatsoever because the stakes, of course, are extremely high as far as the Gaganyan uh, project is concerned. We have, of course, seen how successfully uh, ISRO completed the Chandrayaan-3 and the Aditya L1 mission. Uh, uh, Aditya L1 mission is still, uh, uh, you know, ongoing. Uh, but nevertheless, with Gaganyan, the stakes are much, much higher because we are sending uh, human beings, we are sending astronauts uh, to the space. So that is the reason why they want to test out all the systems uh, before the big launch uh, of the Gaganyan mission. So today, as far as uh, the test uh, 
vehicle is concerned it is going to be an unpressurized uh, crew module that will be sent uh, you know they are of course trying to see uh, what kind of parameters what kind of uh, you know the performance is uh, you know seen in these systems and subsystems to make sure that they do a thorough analysis if at all whatever results they get from this mission they are going to analyze it thoroughly if there needs to be uh, any changes that needs to be made that will also be done so this is just one amongst the many any test that's going to come uh, as far as the isro is concerned in the coming days right you know all social pa huge question mark on uh, you know the details and the identity of who are those people who are going to be a part of this mission of course those pictures ever since went viral we'll just put those pictures out as well of uh, of those uh, of the officers from the indian air force but any more details that you can share with us Well, uh, Sneha, all we know at this point in time is that uh, the training is on. Uh, they have, they are. It will be the Indian Air Force uh, personnel who will be chosen as the astronauts who will be going to the space, and the training is underway. That's all we know. Uh, who is it going to be? Uh, you know, there's absolutely no information on that as of now. In fact, uh, when we, uh, you know, we were checking out uh, the information regarding the Gaganyaan mission, uh, ISR has been putting a, a, a timeline of how much. Uh, they have completed so far as far as this project is concerned and in that uh, you know they had of course specifically mentioned that the training is underway for the astronauts uh, and that is a very very rigorous training they need to go through uh, several uh, you know uh, training sessions uh, several aspects of it you know it's not easy uh, being in space the conditions the atmosphere the environment everything is very very different so they need to get acc accustomed and acclimatized to that kind of situations and that kind of conditions so it is a very rigorous training that these astronauts will be undergoing so all of that is being carried out side by side so there is of course several aspects to the gaganyaan mission one of course is the launch vehicle uh, it is going to be a G, uh, glb3 uh, launch vehicle that will be used in gaganyaan 3 today of course it's a, a separate uh, test vehicle that they are using for the uh, uh, for the test uh, the module test today uh, but uh, again so uh, the uh, the rocket side of it needs to be looked at the safety side needs to be looked at uh, the training of the astronauts needs to be looked at so so many of these aspects uh, are being thoroughly looked into by isro uh, at this point in time because gaganyaan uh, with chandrayaan we of course uh, you know captured the imagination of the country and now we are going to take it a step ahead uh, with uh, gaganyaan and that is the reason why all of these uh, aspects are being thoroughly looked into by isro also as far as the actual mission is concerned these are of course test missions uh, that are going to be carried out essentially uh, but the actual test mission shilpa the timeline of it is up until the year 2025 since till the time all in fact uh, problems or all uh, errors are completely eliminated like you said isn't it well absolutely in fact uh, they cannot Uh, you know afford to have any mistakes once the mission is finally launched that is the reason why there's going to be a series of tests that isro will conduct before agaganyaan actually takes off uh, from shri harikota so that this of, of course is the first test that is taking place the first uh, launch test that we are, uh, that is taking place this is a specially designed launch vehicle uh, that uh, isro has uh, you know uh, uh, made and this launch vehicle uh, it's a single stage uh, liquid propelled uh, rocket that and on its four the crew module and the crew escape system is mounted now once it lifts off from shri harikota what happens is it will go up to a, a a distance of 17 kilometers and at 17 kilometers an abort signal will be sent from uh, isro and uh, because of which the crew module and the crew escape system will detach and then it uh, their parachutes will be deployed and it will splash down to the bay of bengal at uh, 10 kilometers off the shri harikota Uh, shri harikota coast is where it's supposed to touch down that is what we're being told at this point in time and the indian navy ships are on standby indian navy personnel are also on standby uh, they will of course have divers who uh, 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 who will of course then retrieve uh, the crew module that will uh, that will splash down on the bay of bengal and they will uh, you know safely ret uh, uh, retrieve it that is what we are being told so this is the sequence of events as far as this particular launch is concerned it will be a short duration uh, uh, short 
short duration mission and uh, the visibility from Sriharikota where we are standing uh, will be not that great is what we are being told. It's also a very, very cloudy day here at uh, Sriharikota at the Satish Dhawan Space Center. So we are, of course, waiting for uh, the mission to start. It, uh, 8 a.m. is the time that was given. So in a short while from now, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the command center will be uh, a bus with activity and uh, we can hear the scientists and, uh, you know, taking over uh, and, uh, you know, successfully carrying out this mission, hopefully.